OpenAI has announced a groundbreaking content deal with Condé Nast, the media company behind iconic titles like Vogue and The New Yorker. This strategic partnership marks a significant step forward for both organizations, as they aim to leverage AI technology to create innovative and engaging content for audiences worldwide. Let's delve into the details of their partnership. OpenAI's new partnership, Condé Nast, known for its portfolio of prestigious brands including Vogue, The New Yorker, Bon Appetit, Vanity Fair, and Wired, has been a leader in lifestyle, culture, and tech journalism for decades. Now, this partnership with OpenAI, as announced in the company tweet, could mark a transformative shift in how content is created, distributed, and monetized in the digital age. At the core of this partnership, OpenAI will be granted access to Condé Nast's vast and high-quality content archives to further train and improve its AI models, particularly its flagship product, ChatGPT. By leveraging Condé Nast's editorial content, OpenAI aims to refine its language models, making them more accurate, contextually aware, and capable of delivering nuanced responses. This is a strategic move for OpenAI, as the diverse and detailed nature of Condé Nast's publications includes topics such as fashion, politics, technology, food, and culture, providing a robust dataset to enrich the AI's capabilities. In exchange, Condé Nast will gain access to OpenAI's advanced AI technologies to enhance its publishing operations. This includes the integration of AI tools in content creation, curation, and personalization, as well as advertising optimization. The potential applications for Condé Nast are vast, ranging from automating certain editorial processes to tailoring content to specific audience segments. Additionally, AI could be instrumental in identifying emerging trends in real time, helping Condé Nast stay ahead in the rapidly changing media landscape. The partnership highlights a growing trend where traditional media companies are increasingly integrating AI into their operations not just as a tool for efficiency, but as a catalyst for innovation. For Condé Nast, this collaboration could transform how they approach content production, allowing for more dynamic and interactive storytelling. The use of AI in content creation is not entirely new, but the level of sophistication that OpenAI brings to the table could mean that readers will see more personalized, high-quality content at scale. In the competitive world of digital media, where attention spans are short and readers demand instant gratification, AI could enable Condé Nast to deliver more relevant content to its diverse audiences across platforms. For instance, AI-driven insights could help Vogue craft fashion content that aligns with the latest consumer preferences, or assist Wired in providing tech journalism that taps into the newest technological debates. Additionally, Tools like ChatGPT could be employed in interactive customer engagement, offering readers real-time assistance or personalized content recommendations. This partnership could also significantly impact the advertising space. OpenAI's AI models could enhance targeted advertising by analyzing user behavior more effectively and predicting consumer trends. For a media company like Condé Nast, which relies heavily on advertising revenue, such advancements could lead to better monetization strategies and more effective ad campaigns tailored to the precise interests of their audience. In his message to his staff, Condé Nast CEO Roger Lynch recently shared his excitement about the company's new partnership with OpenAI. He emphasized how important it is for Condé Nast to adapt to new technology while still protecting and earning money from its content. He praised OpenAI for being open and willing to work fairly with publishers like Condé Nast to ensure that people get trustworthy information from AI platforms like ChatGPT. This partnership isn't happening in isolation. OpenAI has already made similar deals with other major publishers like The Atlantic, News Corp, and The Associated Press. These agreements reflect a larger trend where traditional media companies are working with tech firms to navigate the challenges and opportunities brought about by AI advancements. The historically tense relationship between tech giants and media companies over profits is evolving. As AI demands quality content, publishers seek fair compensation, making partnerships like OpenAI's a potential win-win solution for both sides. Lynch also pointed out that ensuring the public gets accurate and reliable information is more important than ever, especially in a world where misinformation is common. By collaborating with reputable publishers like Condé Nast, 
OpenAI can train its AI systems using content that meets high journalistic standards. This can help reduce the chances of spreading false or misleading information. The potential concerns. The partnership between Condé Nast and OpenAI raises some big questions about the future of publishing and content creation. While this deal might bring exciting new technology and opportunities, it also has some potential risks, especially when it comes to competition and content ownership. One major concern is that by allowing AI companies like OpenAI to use their content, publishers like Condé Nast might be helping to create tools that could later compete with them. As AI technology keeps getting better, it could start creating articles, stories, and other content that could rival traditional journalism and writing. The more data AI systems have to learn from, the better they get at mimicking human writers. This means that AI could eventually produce content that reduces the need for human writers, raising concerns about job loss. The partnership between Condé Nast and OpenAI comes at a time when there is growing concern over how tech companies use copyrighted material to train their AI systems. Recently, the New York Times filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and Microsoft, accusing them of copyright infringement for using their content without proper permission or compensation. The result of this lawsuit could have a significant impact on other deals like the one between Condé Nast and OpenAI. If the court rules in favor of the New York Times, it might set stricter guidelines on how companies can use copyrighted material for AI training. This could lead to more careful negotiations and possibly stricter regulations for future partnerships between media companies and tech firms. On the other hand, if the ruling favors tech companies, it might encourage more widespread use of copyrighted material for AI, which could change how publishers control and monetize their content. Even though Condé Nast decided to work with OpenAI, it's also shown that it's not afraid to push back when it feels its content is being used unfairly. For example, Wired, one of Condé Nast's tech publications, recently published an article criticizing Perplexity, an AI-powered search tool, calling it a bull's tea machine. The article claimed that Perplexity was not following the proper rules for how it should access content from websites. The CEO of Perplexity later explained that the problem was caused by a third-party tool and not by Perplexity. Still, this situation shows that publishers like Condé Nast are cautious and ready to defend their rights, even as they explore new partnerships with tech companies. These concerns aren't just limited to Condé Nast. Media companies everywhere are nervous about how AI could impact their businesses. On one hand, AI can help them reach more readers, improve efficiency, and create more personalized experiences. On the other hand, it could also lead to a future where AI-generated content takes away the value of traditional journalism and creative work. For years, publishers have been cautious about working with tech companies. Platforms like Google and Facebook made it easy for content to be shared and profited from without always compensating the original creators fairly. Now, as AI gets more powerful, there's a risk that similar issues could arise. With AI companies using publisher content to train their systems without giving back enough in return, the partnership also highlights some tricky ethical and legal issues. As AI tools get more advanced, they need huge amounts of content to learn from. The big question is whether that content is being used in a way that respects the rights of the original creators. Publishers want to make sure that AI companies are open about where they get their data and that they follow the rules on how they can use it. Without clear regulations, conflicts like the one with perplexity could become more common. The future of media in an AI-driven world. OpenAI has emerged as a front-runner in Silicon Valley by securing partnerships with news publishers, while other tech companies are still weighing whether to invest in similar collaborations. By teaming up with major media brands like Condé Nast, OpenAI aims to integrate high-quality journalism into its AI systems. This strategy positions OpenAI as a leader in shaping how artificial intelligence interacts with and delivers news content. In a statement, OpenAI's COO, Brad Lightcap, emphasized their commitment to maintaining the core values of journalism. We're committed to working with Condé Nast and other news publishers to ensure that as AI plays a larger role in news discovery and delivery, it maintains accuracy, integrity, and respect for quality reporting, he said. This indicates OpenAI's intent to prioritize ethical AI development while respecting the content creator's rights and maintaining high standards of factual reporting. 
As OpenAI continues to secure these collaborations, it sets a benchmark for how tech companies can responsibly work with media organizations. Their focus on balancing innovation with journalistic integrity reflects the growing importance of AI in the media landscape and the need for thoughtful, cooperative approaches as technology and traditional content converge. The Condé Nast and OpenAI deal shows where the future of publishing might be headed. As AI keeps evolving, traditional media companies will need to decide whether to embrace these changes and work with tech companies or resist them and risk falling behind. Done correctly, these partnerships could lead to new opportunities where AI and human creativity work together. But if publishers lose control over their content, they could end up competing against the very systems they helped develop. Looking ahead, for Condé Nast, using OpenAI's technology could be a smart way to modernize while maintaining the high standards their readers expect. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.